It's a great class for us um, to have you here in the very first talk show of the 24P lesson. And had after uh, come back uh, to Vietnam after working um, in Britain, what do you think about uh, Vietnamese fashion uh, industry? I think um, compared to five years ago, when I came back to the country and find out a little bit about fashion in Vietnam, I think that uh, fashion in Vietnam has been growing very, very fast, yes. um, to a very, very fast rate too. Yes. Now, um, I think that, um, although of course, you know, if you compare Vietnamese fashion industry, which hasn't existed mm -hmm. yet, but if you, if you compare it to the rest of the world, where in London, Paris, and Milan, and New York, mm -hmm. Um, you haven't been able to do that, but somehow I feel that there's a great energy of um, fashion developing. People here in Vietnam love beautiful things, yeah. they love models, they love beautiful clothes, yeah. and um, there are a lot more uh, international brands that has come to Vietnam mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very positive about this development. I know that it will take time, it will mm -hmm. go through many different stages, but I'm sure that we'll get there. Yeah, I think so. And um, do you meet uh, any problem while working in Vietnam? Problem? Uh, well, I have to say that when I decided to come back to Vietnam, I have to think in my head that I have to remain very positive. I cannot keep comparing Vietnam uh, fashion industry to the rest of the world where mm -hmm. I have been doing modeling before uh, because Vietnam hasn't has a history of, of fashion for that matters. So, of course, when I came back from the runways of London, of New York, of Paris, mm -hmm. it's a big difference, it's a big changes. Yeah. Um, and there's many things that sometimes I, I wish that would be done, uh, or would be done correctly. But uh, overall, I just feel that um, the fact that I'm here, as I'm Vietnamese, having able to have the experience that I, that I did, um, across the world and come back to work in Vietnam, I feel that I can play an important part in helping the industry of fashion in Vietnam to grow. And uh, that is what is, is, is a very rewarding feeling to have. And therefore, uh, despite the fact that the industry in Vietnam has not been you know, growing mm -hmm. um, to, to what I would probably expect it, I feel that there's a lot of potential and possibility and for someone like me to be here and to help. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, there are some people who said that uh, your face and uh, your body shape is not suitable for Vietnamese uh, fashion and culture. So how do you feel about that? Um, to be honest with you, I don't really feel anything. Because, you know, it's in Vietnamese way of thinking, usually people's usually stereotypical lies many things. What is the Vietnamese beauty? The Vietnamese people don't think this. The Vietnamese people think that. The mm -hmm. Vietnamese woman should be like this and mm -hmm. should not be like this. Now these days, it's about globalization. It's about exploring to the rest of the world. Fashion is not invented by Vietnamese and just for Vietnamese. I, I believe that nowadays with the economic growing, with, with culture and with pop song, popular music mm -hmm. coming to Vietnam, I believe that everything will change. Yeah. I believe that the perception of people will gradually get broadened mm -hmm. and they will perceive beauty in a different light, they will perceive uh, fashion in a different sense. The more they will understand the core, the knowledge of what everything is all about, the, the more, uh, the further they will look. And to be honest with you, with people will always have opinion to either you know, you are beautiful or not, or to mm -hmm, whether mm -hmm. it suits you, their taste or not. But at the end of the day, um, fashion is very much following a standard set by international mm -hmm. standard. And so therefore, I feel that, you know, I have been here in Vietnam working for three years, mm -hmm. and it has been great three years. Um, I've done a lot, achieved a lot, and been appreciated a lot by the people of Vietnam, uh, by the professionals of Vietnam, and therefore, I have nothing to complain. <laughs> yeah, and um, so uh, what's your viewpoint about beauty and should a model have to be nice at the least? 
have to be nice. Nice and a miss. miss and a miss? Yeah. Actually, to be a model and to be a miss beauty queen is two completely different things. Mm -hmm. uh, a model is a job. Uh, Miss Beauty Queen is, is a title, you know, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful girl judged by panel of judge. But a model is you need to have sets of skills, how you are going to be photographed, how you're going to walk on the catwalk, what skills you need. Uh, you have to work with your expression on your face, with your body line, how you can carry your clothes. It's many, many things. So it's a career, it's a job. And therefore, of course, to be a model, you can be a miss, but to be a miss, you probably cannot be a model. Yes. Um, well, I think that, um, of course, you know, beauty is perceived in many different ways. As a model, it's probably down to the Vietnamese standard. Um, she would probably doesn't have to be with pale skin, mm -hmm. with, you know, with a standard mm -hmm. look of a miss that mm -hmm. Vietnamese people would expect. But these models will have these sets of skills that where she would be wearing the clothes and people would want to buy that clothes and what is what it's all about. And my perception of beauty is very wide because I have traveled a lot. I see beauties in different nationalities, different skin color, different culture. And so, I mean, like beauty is expressed in many, many, many different ways. And I, I believe that, um, I guess that the more people will understand, like I said, about culture, about globalization, about fashion, art, about music and cinematography, the more people will be able to appreciate beauty, beauties in many different lights. Um, and um, it will come. I, I believe that it will come in time. Yeah. And now let's talk about music. Um, after your first single model, Take My Picture, and just released the, from the very start, uh, you are now known as a single natural model. So uh, do you have um, anything to say with us about your new role? My new role is completely exciting. It's mm -hmm. very, very exciting. Uh, I have loved music from when I was a little girl, probably when I was born. Uh, I've never knew that I could pursue music. Music was my, my very first passion. I never knew as a kid, I never knew that one day I would be able to be a singer because it's just a dream. But the more I, I do, the more I progress in life as a grown up, the more, the, the closer I am to my dream. And now I'm able to be doing what I love, which is singing, which is working with musician, with music, and express myself through music. And that is an amazing thing to do. It's hard. It's, I, I feel that it's much harder than fashion. Mm -hmm. To be a model, I've been doing it for eight years now, and to, now I know it as the back of my hand. I can just be on the catwalk just like this. But with music, I'm starting to learn things and pick, pick up experience and, and revolving myself and perfection myself step by step. And so it's exciting, it's challenging, but completely exciting because I, I just feel I see the vision of, of many good possibilities and opportunities to come and being able to communicate uh, with people, with my fans, with people who listen to my music through my music is mm -hmm. a great way to be because as a model, usually people are not interested to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. You are the model, you sell the clothes, you look beautiful and you are the still and um, silence picture. But to be a singer, you are a personality. You can talk, you can express your feelings, your past experience of how you think, how you dream. And I feel that my potential, my full potential is going to be met uh, being in my roles as a singer. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have uh, any memories while recording songs? Yes, every, every time I go and record a song, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, because it's so much emotions that put in the song itself. You go into the recording studio and you would completely forget about how much time you spent mm -hmm. being in there because you absolutely love every minute that you were in the studio. And your body and your soul and your spirit absolutely like it, it commit to the fact that you are there uh, in that moment in time to deliver the song. And it is a very difficult process because 
it has to be perfect. It has to, the recording, you have to coordinate with a person who record you. You have to be able to pronounce things well. You have to be able to deliver your technique, but also with your emotion. Mm -hmm. And every single time, every different time you sing, it's a different emotion depending on how you feel. So to have one emotion going through that song with different dynamics of the song is something that requires a lot of skills. Um, and I find it very, very interesting to discover that myself step by step. And uh, every time I go into the recording studio, that's why I keep recording songs to my fans because I believe that through that experience, I will be able to develop more as, as a real artist when, when I start to sing more and, and evolve in this, in this process of making music. And also writing music is, is really crazy. It's really wonderful too because you can just express things and suddenly this idea come from out of nowhere. Probably people will always say it's like godsend. I don't know if it's true, but you know, when you hear beats and you hear mel melodies and you have the word matching to it, you remember suddenly memories that you had from your past. It's really, it's a really cool, very cool things to do and inspiring also. And when the song comes out and you see how it touches how it touches people is amazing too. I have people singing back to me the song, quoting the lyrics of the song, and it makes people feel good, feel nice, feel appreciated, feel understood, as if they were in the same situation as me, or it lifts them up in the morning, making them feel good, you know, happy, feminine, sexy, whatever feelings it is. Music is supposed to make people feel good, and that's why I'm happy because because a beautiful picture as a model can be a beautiful picture. People will look at it, they remember it, appreciate it, or forget about it. But with music, you can touch a lot more people in, in a di different, in different sense, in a deeper sense of, of emotion. So that is why I enjoy thoroughly what I, I'm doing right now and, and hopefully will continue to do it for a long time. Yeah, and I can say that I love this song so much. Thank you. Oh, unfortunately, the time is over. But uh, we have had a great time. Once again, I'd like to thank you, you, uh, to join you uh, today. Thank you very yeah, much. And I uh, wish you always to sit in um, prison and also in music. Thank you, my pleasure. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, snap, snap, oh, snap, snap, oh, snap, snap, oh, snap, snap, oh. Snap, snap, oh. Me too.